Hi there, welcome to Dr. Chan's Minor Ailment Forum again and today I'm going to talk about chicken pox and how to manage it. Um, as you know this is very common, especially during the you know the winter time, quite a lot of children and even adults coming in uh, with chicken pox like symptoms. Uh, sometimes it's easier to manage at home because you don't necessarily have to see a doctor but I have to stress if you you know we're more than happy to see you uh, if you've got any problems so by all means uh, contact your surgery if you do worry. Uh, so let's talk about uh, chicken pox it's own, on its own is a, is a virus so it's very contagious. Um, study shows that probably 90% of vulnerable individuals who has been in touch with people who's got chicken pox are likely to get chicken pox. However, the good news is it's a self-limiting disease and in a few days' time, you tend to get better. Um, children tend to do better than adults and I've seen loads of adults who, who've never had chicken pox before or even had chicken pox and had it again and they do quite badly actually. They, they do suffer, especially with the itch on the skin and high fever and so on and so forth. So, you know, do watch out. So, as I said, it's more common in children, so around two to five years old, they tend to get it. And incubation, incubation period of time is around 10 to 14 days, but sometimes it can be more than, uh, more than that, it's around 21 days. So things to look out for is you don't necessarily start off with a rash first. You might just get a little bit of cold-like symptoms and the temperature's a bit high, you get a headache, and in a few days' time, you're starting to come up with kind of red um, rash, but in the middle, you get a little blister and they gradually spread, generally starting from the chest to the arms to the legs and it can go everywhere to your scalp and even sometimes even the genitals which is quite you know unpleasant but it can happen. So once the rash came on and you see the blister it will generally progress and if you know if you see it progressing then you can be sure that it's very likely to be chicken pox but not other kind of like skin infection. So what I meant by progressing is the, uh, the blister will generally dry up and become a scab. And once all the rash has scabbed off, you can say that the person is not contagious anymore. But you know, if you still get wet blister, you are still contagious. I would advise that if you uh, develop chicken pox like symptoms or your children have it, then you need to kind of think back who you or they have been in contact with in the past few days. So for example, the people that really need to watch out are pregnant ladies and also uh, elderly people or um, people who've got low immunity. So you need to let them know that or uh, let's just make an example, my, my son John who developed chicken pox now and I know that he has been in touch with you several days ago. I just want to let you know that you know, if you never had chicken pox before, you might have it. So if you're pregnant and you never had chicken pox before, then you need a blood test uh, to, to make sure whether you've caught the virus or you've got the immunity or not. And uh, you must attend a GP. And if you're elderly, then you might, you know, if your immunity is really bad, you might develop shingles, which um, uh, it can be quite nasty as well. So, you know, just to let them prepare, you might not be able to stop that happening anyway, but at least they know and to look out for the symptoms. So general management is conservative management at home. Uh, you need to make sure that you drink plenty and you take uh, over-the-counter um, cowpole for children or paracetamol for adults or even ibuprofen if need be. So you need to make, make sure that, you know, the temperature is cool and also um, you know, you, you might have a really itchy rash all over that you might want to take some antihistamine to, to soothe the skin and you can also uh, apply emollients as well. So generally speaking, that shouldn't last for too long, around five days or the scab should dry off and scabbed off, then then you're okay to go back to work or school. But in the interim period of time when you still have a blistery rash, I would strongly advise you to stay at home. Saying that, obviously, you know, we're more than happy to see you know the children or adult with chicken pox in the surgery but it's best to kind of inform the reception I suspect I or my children have chicken pox so they can at least put you in a room and not to infect other people so I hope that this video is um, useful for you and um, there will be plenty more coming but bottom line is if you do worry uh, contact your GP okay bye bye